Hello friends, this is Abhishek. Today I'm gonna start a new video tutorial series that is related to the most important and most interesting control in ASP.NET or you can say the simple interesting module to develop these kind of applications. This is related to the reporting services okay uh, reporting to means i mean to say reporting in the sense that uh, how you can present your uh, data to the end users for example it's a best way to report your data or uh, uh, your uh, details like uh, selling of a year okay uh, reports for the quarterly monthly uh, day reports like that okay it's a good whenever you use the chart controls to represent your data to the end users okay so today uh, this series is all belongs to the chart controls right uh, right now we're gonna start with the jquery charts for the asp.net after that we're gonna include more charts related to the different jquery sources or any other technologies but right now we are only talking about the jquery charts for asp.net okay uh, today we're gonna start with the chart controls by the google chart okay it's a free of cost okay, you can download it from google chart apis i have already created a asp.net example where you can get all the different kinds of charts details okay today i'm gonna talk about the annotation chart as well as area chart right Okay, but before that, I would like to tell you something more about uh, my video tutorials. Okay, you can find it all my video tutorials at infologs.in. This is my website where you can get all the free video tutorials and demo examples. The current example is also available on infologs.in website. Right here, you can get uh, tutorials for uh, iPhone and Android right now. Okay, and uh, for the video tutorials, you can get all these kind of different different categories we have. That is ASP.NET, Ajax, C Sharp, iPhone, Android, PHP, Trita applications, jQuery applications, PhoneGap plus PHP applications. These are the free video tutorials. Okay, you can get it from there, and uh, very soon you will get the downloads. Uh, papers or uh, you can say the applications and uh, demo applications right so coming back to the main point that is chart controls okay here we have a 26 chart which is available in Google API's I have created I'll demonstrate all the chart one by one right so this is the first video tutorial for the jquery chart controls in asp.net so let's start with the annotation chart right let me show you the first how the annotation chart looks like just click on annotation chart okay this is the annotation chart right here you can scroll this to get the detailed descriptions about the current state okay uh, at the left at the right hand side you will see the details about the points for example point a point a is here whatever the details i have inputted you can see out here okay we have a two series okay normally uh, whenever we use or whenever we create a chart you have to know about the basic rules of chart we have a x axis that is the bottom at the bottom and a y axis that is the top to bottom right so this is called also legend okay this is the description details about your uh, series okay and uh, these two lines you can see over here these are the series of a chart right it's a very simple example you do not need to do any complex task to represent this chart 
okay you just need to use a built-in Google API's include them in your HTML page just reference it and done okay let me show the details about that annotation chart okay first of all we have included a online API that is visualization module version and package name right this will download a script file into my HTML page right guys from the Google API's after that we have created a custom script in that we have loaded the current annotation chart okay reference for the current annotation chart after that we have a make a set callback and I'm getting a draw chart function right in the draw chart functions first of all we need to create a data table visualization data table that means what kind of data you want to present in the chart right so here we have assigned some data types that is the date time number string string number string string okay these are the data types in which we are going to work after that we have added some rows just like this a b c d e f g h like that okay after that first column is my date so i have added a date the second column is my number so i have number string undefined undefined i don't want to add that up that number and again string i don't want to add that right as usual i have assigned all the details about my columns to my data table after that after creating your complete data table we have a annotation chart which which is coming from the google dot visualization dot annotation chart okay as usual we have imported the annotation chart js javascript okay that's why you can create over here that is google dot visualization dot annotation chart after that you have to pass a div in which div you want to paint a chart right so i have created a div at the bottom in the body section that is div id is equal to chart div whatever the width you want you can assign it okay and after that i here i have created a simple options okay for more options you can go and check out the google api's chart google chart api's you will get the more details about the options okay right now here i have only one single option that is the display annotation colon true right that means the right hand side you can see this is the detailed descriptions this is showing because we have set the display annotation to if i set it to false it will not display just control F5 whenever you press F5 uh, sometimes it doesn't take the effects that's why every time you refresh the page please press control F5 that's why it will get automatic refresh it will reload the page and it will not load it from the cache memory uh, it's taking time to loading script from the Google API server okay guys here you can see the legend was gone okay and uh, after that I'm gonna again set it to true save it and uh, press the control F5 okay here you can see the details right so after that I want to add one more line that is my custom line okay here 2015 month is 7 and date is 01 it's a 1990 you shake working on short control Mission is one four five two. Title is chart control demo chart 
control okay control f5 okay J and K working on chart control and chart control that is the demo control right all the stops are at the same time let me change it to Davis 14 okay according to data it is displaying your data right guys we are going to set it to 146 4000 and this and uh, J is at bottom we are setting it to the same so the chart is going like this right guys at once you can manage your annotation chart right and last for that you have to draw the chart that is a chart or draw this is the built-in function which is provided by the Google API's you have to pass the two parameters that is data and your options this is done guys at once you can manage your annotation charts okay now uh, if I said I want to make this chart dynamic, okay, that means I have a data stored in my SQL server and I want to use that data and on the basis of that data I want to display the chart, okay, that means you have to manage this stuff dynamically, right, you need to query to your SQL database, get the column and all the, all the related details and create a data row array okay all the stuffs you can go with the JSON right so it will automatically define the stuff for you and then just assign it to your draw method that is the data and uh, other related options okay at once you can make your chart dynamically I'm gonna show you how you can make your chart dynamically in later videos right now let's talk about the area chart let me show you the details of area chart just click over here this is a simple performance okay whenever you want to measure your performance uh, year wise or quarter wise or uh, month wise you can go with this chart okay this is a simple chart we have a title left axis sorry x axis and y axis and some legends okay which is representing what is the sales and what is the expense right and when you hover your cursor on a particular point it will show the sales of that year okay this is done automatically we haven't do anything for this right let's talk about the code okay first of all we have imported a simple JS API file JS API from the Google server okay after that import a package for the code chat and as usual you have to draw chart method and after that this is uh, here I am using a different visualization method that is array to data table okay that means we have array it will automatically convert to data table while drawing a chart okay here we have a year sales and expense this is the title of our chart or you can say the section of the array year 2013, 14, 15, 16, and sales according to this, and expense according to our DB. Right here, I'm gonna add one more 
year that is 2017 we have a tremendous sale and uh, less expense okay let's control f5 it will add one more thing that is 2017 okay it will automatically manage your chart according to your data right guys okay uh, this is a very simple chart okay after that here are some different options are available here I have a title that is the company performance which is shown here after that H axis horizontal axis that is here year uh, let me change that mm. financial year text color color I want to change it to black zero 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 okay and after that the vertical axis minimum value that is zero that means here let me change it to 500 it will start from the 500 500 then after 1500 3000 4500 it's not taking effect that is a zero so no problem okay after that as usual we have to use the google visualization dot area chart again we have to pass a div in it okay uh, if you don't know uh, the JavaScript you can also use the jQuery but you have to specify the link for your jQuery library then you can use the jQuery in it as well okay uh, guys I hope you have enjoyed this video tutorial if you have any questions you can post it on my channel that is the youtube.com slash web boostings or you can also comment it on my website or you can also come send it to email at my web boostings at gmail.com right guys if you want to learn more different technologies you can sign it to infologs.in for the free you will get all the related materials and tutorials for the free so in my next video tutorial we're gonna talk about next two chart that is the bar chart and bubble chart till then don't forget to subscribe this channel for the details Till then, bye-bye.